All right, it's becoming quarterback you here, Sean Lewis, working his magic a day after Danny O'Neill commits to San Diego State out of high school in Indiana. A.J. Duffy commits to San Diego State. He is transferring from Florida State, Power 5 program, to San Diego State, and it seems like he is going to be fighting for the starting quarterback job coming up after this college football season is over. Obviously, San Diego State season is over because they were bad. Four-win team, not a bowl game. Their season's over. But, man, this is this seems like it's a pretty big commitment here. Danny O'Neill, this is someone that could end up starting, but I wasn't 100% sure when this commitment came yesterday from Danny O'Neill. He's coming out of high school. A.J. Duffy is not coming out of high school. He has spent a couple years at Florida State. He spent 2022 at Florida State where he didn't really play very much. And then 2023... I believe he redshirted essentially this year. I mean, pretty much these last two years. But uh, A.J. Duffy coming into this past season was a redshirt freshman. So he's already used up that redshirt year, I guess, in that first year that he was at Florida State. But yeah, this was a guy that was a really good high school quarterback and former four-star commit. And so can Sean Lewis get that out of A.J. Duffy here at San Diego State? I don't think he's going to get the starting job handed to him. He's going to have to work for it. And Danny O'Neill, I think toward the, he told the union tribune the other day, like whoever is the best for San Diego state is going to get the job. Whoever can help the team win at that point is going to get the job. So we'll see if it's going to be, it seems like not just we'll see, but it seems like it's going to be a quarterback competition between AJ Duffy and Danny O'Neill. And we'll see if there's anyone else that is brought in, but yeah, AJ Duffy, I'm just reading from Florida State's website here. Before he went to Florida State, four-star prospect, tab 39th in ESPN's top 300, ranked number three nationally among quarterbacks, number seventh overall in Florida by ESPN. Again, this was going into Florida State. Rated rated as the nation's number eight quarterback prospect. Like, very talented. 24-7 sports ranked him as the nation's 14th best quarterback and number 27 overall prospect in the state of Florida, selected for Under Armour's All-America game, Elite 11 Finals, transferred to IMG Academy for his senior season after the junior year was wiped out due to the pandemic um, at Rancho Verde in California, where he led the Mustangs to an 11-1 overall record quarterfinal round of the Division II CIF's Southern Section Championship. I mean, this guy, it seems like he's super talented. And when I read 24-7's profile of him by Andrew Irvin's director of scouting there, he was evaluated. This was January of 2022, so a little bit ago. But the comparison here is Bo Nix, who tore it up at Oregon this past year. So if that's a true comparison and that comparison still rings true today, we could be in for some exciting football at San Diego State, which is what us Aztecs fans want, right? Andrew Irvin, not Irvin, sorry. Andrew Ivan says here, a gamer of sorts that is flashed in a variety of different settings, has a knack for making something out of nothing. Creative when the pocket breaks down and does a nice job of keeping his eyes down the field while on the move. Equipped with a live arm that is proven to be accurate when he's got his A game going. Not afraid to take a deep shot or challenge a tight covered window. Started prep for Groff. Started prep career off, excuse me, in California, where he lost his entire junior year to the pandemic, ended up transferring to IMG Academy for a senior season, directed a run-heavy offense, still managed to complete just under 64% of his passes with 13 touchdowns to go against four interceptions. Must cut down on mistakes and limit errant throws when he gets to college, but has a chance to win games at the Power 5 level one day given his skill set as he's more than capable of making high-level throws. San Diego State, not Power 5, but it didn't seem like he was going to get that opportunity at Florida State. Florida State went undefeated, obviously, this past year, and it seemed like they had, it did, not just seem like, they had multiple quarterbacks that could get the job done, even behind Jordan Travis, obviously, after the terrible injury that happened there, and that's a team that would have been in the college football playoff if, They had their starting quarterback. So there was a lot of talent there. And so I'm interested in seeing what A.J. Duffy learned from Florida State, what he can move over here to San Diego State, and what he can do working with Sean Lewis, who is someone that is 
known for his offenses that he has led at Kent State and then at Colorado for this past year, first year with Deion Sanders there at Colorado. So it's going to be interesting to see who wins this quarterback battle. But again, this is something, you know, that I said and that I've said in the past, but something that I said during my reaction to Danny O'Neill officially committing yesterday to San Diego State, announcing that on social media. A.J. Duffy announced it on social media today. And it's that this wouldn't have happened under Brady Hoke. Like, this just wasn't happening where you were having these big-time quarterbacks, it seemed like, or at least according to what I'm reading here and what I'm seeing, big-time quarterbacks wanting to come play for San Diego State. Sure, there was Braxton Burmeister, but that doesn't seem like it was on the level of a Danny O'Neill, one of the top 40 high school quarterbacks in the nation wanting to come to San Diego State. A.J. Duffy, who was at Florida State, a Power 5 uh, program, wanting to come to San Diego State. You know, that just didn't seem like it was really happening. And they've landed Isaiah Buxton. There's other commits that have already committed to San Diego State. So more entertainment, more attention around the program. I think San Diego State's already seeing that. And I think it's refreshing. It's a refreshing thing for Aztecs fans to see this, uh, a new head coach, offensive-minded head coach, and these quarterbacks, these players coming in where I'm not so sure they would have come in under Brady Hoke. So we shall see. But yeah, A.J. Duffy, newest commit, another quarterback for Sean Lewis.